स्क्वेर पिरामिड ऑफ डायमेंशन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड हाइट फिफ्टी एम एम वी हेव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट सो रेस्ट विथ इट्स बेस ऑन एच पी विथ ऑल ऑफ इट्स एडजस्ट इक्वली इंक्लाइन टू वी पी दैट मीन्स वी नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू कॉर्नर हि इट इज कट बै प्लेन पर पेंडिकुलर टू वी पी इंक्लाइन एट सिक्सटी डिग्री पासिंग थ्रू एक्सट्रीम राइट कॉर्नर ऑफ द बेस ओके सो दैट्स वॉट वी हेव टू डू फर्स्ट वी नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए स्क्वेयर With respect to corner, because they have mentioned with all of its edges, base edges equally inclined to VP. That means we need to construct with the corner here. First, we draw x y line VP HP first quadrant. So now, with the help of the protractor, <coughs> so I'll be marking a reference point. So from this reference point, we can mark for angle 45 degree on both sides. Now I'll be drawing a line of length at 25 mm. So from that reference point to that angle point, so draw a straight line of length at 25 mm. Okay. So in this side also we need to draw line of length at 25 mm. Okay. So again you measure the take compass, measure 25 mm, and cut the respective arc from this. Reference edges. Okay, then join it with the help of scale. This right line. Okay, so that completes the square. So, so it is a square pyramid. So we will be drawing thick lines inside thick lines. As a slant edges, okay. So mention the dimension on one side. So dimension will be twenty five mm, okay. So twenty five. <coughs> so mention the naming A B C D. Only it has having bottom face. O O one center of the axis. So project upward to complete the front view. So here axis length it is of fifty mm. So so draw a vertical line or axis for fifty mm. Okay, now we can join with the slant edges. So the dimension, dimension having fifty mm. Mention the name A dash, B dash, D dash in bracket and C dash, O one dash and O dash. Okay. So now we have to mention that uh, cut plane or the section plane. So it is extreme right corner. That is C point is the reference extreme right corner, and from this point we need to mark for an angle of third sixty degree. Okay, sixty degree. Take protractor and mark for sixty degree from C dash, and draw an section plane passing through this point. Okay, so here the angle it is sixty degree. Okay. <coughs> Now dark the retained portion. Okay, the cut portion, the remaining cut portion. We need to dark this. Okay, now we will be mentioning the cut plane namings one. And if we project it downward, it is uh, cutting with respect to the OC edge, slant edge one. Now the point number two. And point number three, it is exactly at the C dash only. That is point three, cutting the extreme edge three. And point four, exactly, it is at four uh, two only. So now we have to mention two and four exactly where it is occurring on the slant edge. So we will be drawing a straight line that is slant edge uh, for that uh, true length O dash C dash straight line. Then from the two and four, we'll be drawing vertically straight line. We don't know exactly where it is cutting. Okay, so so 
we can mention measure the length from that then draw an arc or a semicircle to the OD and OB so you can cut the arc okay so that is our point 2 and 4 and this is point 3 okay we can join these points 1 2 3 4 so that indicates that cutted portion how it is uh, cutting with that uh, okay section plane So now, <clears throat> so the true length uh, we having OC, it is exactly parallel to XY line. So O dash C dash is our true length. So we need to measure this length. So it is, so you can see OC is parallel to XY and O dash C dash length it is around 50, 52 or 53 mm it is. And I think it is around 52 mm. So dimension. So we can mention that 53 mm. So this is true length. Okay, this is what the length we have to consider to draw the development. So take a reference point and draw a line of length 53 mm. Okay, that's what the true length. And that is O, O and A. Okay. So this is true length. Now we measure, we take compass and measure this length, true length, and we will draw an arc array. Okay. So now we measure the edge here, 25. So 25 means the base edge, and we need to cut four arcs here. Okay, 25, 25, 25 and 25 okay now we can join with the slant edges So that is B, C, D and A. Okay. So I can draw, show the dimension. So dimension here we have 53 and that is true length. Okay. So we should not consider the axis for this. We should consider the true length here. Okay. So now you can see, so we have to mark these uh, cutted points 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So we'll be measuring. So taking on the O dash C dash point one, okay, O one. So O dash one. So cut the arc. So we have O. A, we can cut on the two points. Again O two now. So we have considered this length on the true length. Okay. Two. And five having the same length. Okay. Two and five. And then O dash and three it is cutting exactly at the three point here at a C point okay that is one two three four and this is one again okay now we have to join all this uh, connect this point with the straight line So now we have to join this. So now we have to dark this uh, retained uh, cut portion. Okay. So we have to join this A, B, C, D also with the straight lines. Okay. Now we can dark that uh, retained cut portion. So we need to dark this. can dark this cutted portion okay so 
the retained portion we need to dark it okay so it has which has been cut it and then you can erase that arc which have been drawn okay so that completes the problem